Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Funko Pops on the Rise for October 2020. Today we got some new awesome Funko Pops to talk about so stay tuned you don't want to miss out. We got Harry Potter Funko Pops, WWE, Friends, Star Wars and much more. So if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on when I drop one of my latest video and be sure to hit that like button today guys it really helps the channel out first up is the Kratos Funko Pop from the 2015 New York Comic Con God of War this is my second favorite God of War Funko Pop that they've made of Kratos if you've never played God of War you don't know what you're missing out this is this is obviously exclusive to PlayStation going from $49 to $60 only up $11, but it's a 22% gain. And this next Funko Pop we're gonna talk about is another God of War. And I would pick it up if I was you because it's basically the same premise of the same Funko Pop. It is just the Funko Pop God of War Fear Edition. It's only gone up $1, but this one should be worth at least $50, $60 in my opinion. This is my favorite God of War. This is a GameStop exclusive or EB Games back in the day. This is also released in 2015. So if you're looking to pick up some sweet Funko Pops, I would definitely grab this one because this one's on the cheap. It's only 20, trending at 26. So you definitely could get that one. Next we have a WWE Funko Pop for all you WWE fans out there. It is the Macho Man Randy Savage. And this one has gone up from $60 to $80. This is a FYE exclusive. It's him in his purple trunks. This was also released in 2015, going up for 33% gain. And I guess this one has become a lot more popular now that uh, they got the new WWE Funko Pops coming out. If you guys have not heard, I am doing a 4,000 subscriber giveaway. I will put the link to that in the description. I'll put that video in there so you guys can join the giveaway. I'm giving away a Leonidas, Black Adam. And so all you have to do to enter that is go like, comment, and be a subscriber on the 4,000 subscriber giveaway video. And then go leave a comment on the Funko Magazine. That's all you gotta do. And I will announce the winner here in the next couple weeks. I really do appreciate everybody that supported the channel. And we still got a long ways to go, but we're making some great headway. And let's get back into this episode. Um, next we have a friend's Funko Pop, Rachel Green in her 80s outfit going from $11 to $17. And this pop has seen a 90% increase in value. Some of these pops, they go up for a reason. I was trying to find out if there was like a friend's reunion or something, but I didn't see anything because the other Rachel Green has gone up as well. This is in her waitress outfit going from 120 to 140 and this has seen only a 17 percent gain but these were both released in 2015 a lot of 2015 funko pops that were released and that are going up in value but this one does look pretty fantastic um the next one we have one of my favorite tv shows of all time animated tv show is rick and morty and it's rick ship going from $43 to 70. Is this might be, is this the biggest gain today? I think this is the biggest gain. Yeah, it is. And it has gone up 38, I know 63%, but this was released in 2017 for a hot topic. The Rick Pops, they have like a pasty look to their face. So it's supposed to look that way. It's not, you know, it's not a bad design. It's just how Rick looks. And I love how they did the Rick ship. Man, I would love to have this one in my collection. Before we go anywhere, guys, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Share this video with your friends. And comment down below if you have any of these pops. I would love to hear from you guys if you do. Here we have one that I knew would go up in value eventually. It's a Star Wars Funko Pop, A Lesson in the Force. This was released for the Gal Galactic Convention in 2012 or sorry, 2020, this is trending from $65 to $90 with a 38% gain. And it's fantastic how Yoda is P 
picking up the X-Wing in the swamp in Dagobah. That is freaking awesome. And what more could you want in a Funko Pop? But pretty stoked that that one is starting to go up in value. Next, we have Jeff Denim. And this is the autographed Jeff Denim that you could have picked up off of Jeff Denim's uh, website. This is the um, one that's going from $50 to $60 with a 20% gain. I know Jeff Denim um, and Peanut has a huge following. So he has a lot of series on Netflix and, and specials out there. If you haven't seen his specials, definitely go check out this comedy Funko Pop. Next, we have Jimi Hendrix. And this is one of the cooler looking Jimi Hendrix going from $60 to $75. This is a FYE exclusive from Pop Rocks Funko Pop. It's a 25% gain, so not bad. He's burning his guitar, and this was released in 2017, FYE. Uh, man, this is pr a pretty dynamic Funko Pop, if you ask me, and one that I would love to have in my collection. Next, we have the Harry Potter Funko Pop. I did a lot of these in a giveaway, so we have the Buck Beak with the Black Eyes. This is limited to 3,000 pieces. This Harry Potter Funko Pop will, I believe, go up in value and continue to be a highly sought after pop going from $50 to $60. I think we have to wait a year or two and then we'll see this just spike up in value here in the future. And then next we have Steve Irwin, the Chase Funko Pop. Uh, the common one's not going up in value, but the common one is him holding the alligator and then the Chase Funko Pop is him holding the turtle going from $23 to $29. So I tried to put a reasonably price pop in here that was going up in value. And I thought this one um, was a great one to put in here. Even though I've always said this, I think the chase should have been Steve Irwin holding the crocodile and the common should have been the turtle. But whatever, what can you do? It's still, it's still a great looking pop. Next we have Disneyland. Uh, Sleeping Beauty Castle with Walt Disney holding Mickey Mouse. And I believe this was selling at for $50. If I am wrong, correct me in the comments, but I believe it was going up for $50 and it had sold recently up to $300 to $350. And this was released as a Disneyland exclusive. I am hesitant. I wouldn't pick that up at that price. I believe they will restock on this Funko Pop and it's just crazy to think that this one has gone up that much in value, but man, that is, man, this is trending really high right now. I don't remember when it shot up to 350, but man, when it first came out, it wasn't going for that amount of money. That's why I didn't, never added it on a Pops on the Rise. This has been out for a little bit of time, guys. But anyways, that concludes it for today's episode of Funko Pops on the Rise for October 2020. I really do appreciate everybody that is watching and subscribing and that has subscribed. That's why I am giving back to you guys for this giveaway. We basically have three giveaways going on right now. So if you watch the giveaway video, the Discord is, you can access the Discord for free. All you have to type in is the word free and you will have free access to it. And if you are um, on the Discord, you get mystery box discounts. There's a Discord go giveaway going on right now. By typing free at uh, checkout. Also, um, if you follow the steps in the 4,000 subscriber giveaway, you'll be entered to win that giveaway. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Funko Pops on the Rise for October 2020. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Share this video with your friends. Comment down below if you have any of these or looking to pick up any of these bad boys. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We're either going to do Funko News or, or tomorrow morning's video or Funko Pop Losers. There are some great Funko Pops that have gone down in value that I've been looking up the last couple of days. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that episode. But anyways, as always, guys, big by big, collect all the pops. I will see you next time on another episode of Funko Pops on the Rise for October 2020. Peace out.